evening. We're going to jump into <coughs> the father of metaphysics, as he's sometimes called, Parmenides. In order to proceed, all right, we want to know what it is to be rational and what it means to accept reason. Uh, just as a sideline, um, some years ago I wrote a play about this very uh, material, Parmenides, and it was filmed at uh, Golden West College, and it's available on audio uh, videotapes. It's a very fine production. A lot of people came together and did it, and uh, kind of in honor and respect of the people who put so much creativity to it. I'd like to consider tonight's talk in honor of those people who devoted so much great talent to the production of that film. So, What's yeah. Called? What's what? the film called? Uh, being the One. Yeah, 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 yeah. It does have a title. Yeah, Being the One. That's right. Thank you for reminding me. Comma. Now, there is, so much, there is so much that's interesting about Parmenides because Descartes, there's a whole bunch of modern thinkers. Descartes, Spinoza, Leibniz, and now in the modern world, there's some other modern thinkers now who are taking this thing that's called rational, purely rational, and they're now exploring it. Uh, in the same list should be Bradley, by the way. <coughs> and uh, he's quite an interesting figure. We should do some talk about Bradley one day. But in any case, the normal way of considering Parmenides is to consider that he is devising a structure of thought, purely rational. And therefore, he is making statements about conceivable structures. That's the way they talk about it. And the foremost thinkers that explore this conceivable structures, the logical structures, the conceivable structures, are these thinkers. And then, of course, the logical positivists uh, came along and criticized it severely, but now it's back in vogue through quantum physics. But it's this that I want to challenge this evening. None of this is true. None of these people are in the tradition of Parmenides. He doesn't deal with conceivable structures. He is not, therefore, a realist in the philosophical sense. That's where we're going. So let's try it. All right. Now, what am I going to invite you to do? I'm going to invite you tonight to be rational in a different way, I suspect, than you're prepared. So let us play. First, <clears throat> while you admire the art, I would like to know whether we could agree that we can make some statements about this seed. All right, it grows this way, grows this way, grows goes through all of these stages, doesn't it? So we can say, uh, we can say, this is the whole development of the seed. Or we could say it's the whole development of the plant, and we could talk about it either way. But the thing I'd like to take a few moments on is this rather curious and strange question. And <laughs> like, no doubt we will get no disagreement when we say there is a present before us. Safe, we can proceed. By the way, where does it come from? Does it come out of the past or does it come out of the future? Look here, take another look. It's happening right now. <clears throat> right. I mean, everybody knows the present. Where did it come from? 
well, use these three terms. Uh, sir, we need your help. Well, look here. What if the present came out of the past? Well, then it would already be tired, would it not? Heavy with age. Right? Weary. And therefore, that would be the weary school. But if it comes with vitality and freshness, could it have come out of the present? But wait a minute, if it wasn't at one time, the time when it wasn't, what was it? Future? I think the present always is. So I agree with you. I agree with you. Would you agree there is things, however, that go through changes? And all we're wondering now, <clears throat> yes, in this moment of the present, right, would you not agree there is some content to it? That is, something happens in the present, does it not? Ah, good, 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 good. We can even picture it this way, can't we? Now, Miss, where would you say it comes from? The past or the future? Well, I don't know. Well, if it comes out of the past, remember the way we were reasoning a moment ago? It would already have been. And therefore, it would just reappear in the present once again. Or would you say, no, there's something peculiar about the moment. It doesn't look like it's been around before. Can you take a look and let us know? That's good. I often do that myself. <laughs> hmm. uh, can we be safe at this moment in saying it can't come out of the past? And if it did come out of the present, it must have been somewhere before it came in the present. That must have been the future. So therefore, would you agree time travels in this direction? And we can picture it perhaps something like this. Right? This is something yet to be. Right? And then it comes in, part of it comes into existence. Agree? Part is yet to be. And then it fully forms itself and is in its present. And equally well, when it passes out of existence, right, into the past, part goes first, part is left over until finally. It is all gestuntgen. And therefore, in that same way, it takes the same form, doesn't it? <clears throat> Would you agree, sir? You know, maybe I need to get my watch fixed. Why is that? It seems to go the other way. Wait a minute. In what way does it go the other way? Does it come out of the past? Well, I guess the potential time is always in the future, isn't it? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That's Aristotle's version, by the way, of time. Yeah, that's very silly. Yes, 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 yes. The only trouble with that is that's really a measure. Uh, anything that measures motion is not time, but a measure of motion. But we'll leave that be. All right, now look here. Now that since you are so good at this, I wondered whether you'll go the next step for me and say, what direction does this go? Present, right? Present, right? It goes this way, doesn't it? Well, look here, what do we have here? This event 